It's that time of the year again. E3 2016 is nearly upon us, and despite running from June 14th to 16th, the madness actually begins on June 12th as publishers like EA and Bethesda show off their upcoming games. This will lead to Microsoft, Ubisoft, and Sony holding their own press conferences on June 13th. Why should you look forward to this year's expo? Why shouldn't you? Let us count the reasons. Upgraded consoles. They may only be a rumor for now, but there's enough overwhelming evidence to suggest that this E3 could be the week that Sony and Microsoft reveal the PS4 Neo and Xbox 1.5 if the consoles are indeed called that. The upgraded hardware in question will reportedly lead to better performance for future games, and while it's still conjecture at this point, there's no denying the exciting developments that could result should they be revealed. First Time Reveals Even if you don't care for the next batch of consoles, there are a ton of awesome gameplay reveals to look forward to. Call of Duty Infinite Warfare and Battlefield 1 will be showcasing in-game footage for the first time, but more importantly, we'll be getting our first look at Titanfall 2, Mass Effect Andromeda, Dishonored 2, and even Ubisoft's next action adventure. Watch Dogs 2, maybe? Game reveals are nothing new for E3, but this year is still packed to the brim with must-see titles. Emphasis on VR The hype has passed and Vive and Rift are out there in the world. Now it'll be the PlayStation VR's turn to make an impact, and what better stage than E3 2016? Sony could presumably show off some of the more high-profile AAA games heading to PlayStation VR, such as Gran Turismo Sport. Is a sneak peek at Star Wars Battlefront VR out of the question? Either way, expect Sony to also reveal the day the hardware goes live for all and what launch titles could be expected. Nintendo and The Legend of Zelda In what's seemingly a first, Nintendo won't have any other games to play on its show floor other than The Legend of Zelda. Crazy, right? Nintendo will also devote the entirety of its media briefing to streaming gameplay from the upcoming Zelda out in March 2017 for the NX and Wii U. When you consider that details for the NX, much less other Wii U exclusives, aren't on the cards, you have to wonder what Nintendo is thinking. Nevertheless, this E3 will provide our most extensive look of The Legend of Zelda yet, and we can't wait. EA Play Bucking tradition, EA has announced that it will not be having a media conference this year. Instead, the publisher will host a special event called EA Play on June 12th, open to fans, media, and developers alike. For those attending, it'll be a great way to go hands-on with EA's upcoming releases. For those at home, there are still several reveals planned, including the aforementioned Battlefield 1, Mass Effect Andromeda, and Titanfall 2. Will these games actually be playable? Maybe in the case of Battlefield 1 and Titanfall 2, and honestly, this open-for-all approach could work out better for EA than its past stage shows. What are you most looking forward to at EA 2016? Let us know in the comments, and we'll see you next time.